Hi hey guys, uh, we're back. Just, uh, I'm a bit buggered. Um, been moving across the digestate from the upper tank to the tank that's in the shed. And it's hard yakka. Uh, I'm doing it manually, um, 60 litres at a time. I've got a, a wheelbarrow with some 10 litre drums. Um, we are at just under 600 litres and uh, yeah, it's messy, it smells, and I'm tired. Yeah, it's, I've already done a full day's work and now I've done like 10 or so trips of this up and down hill from the greenhouse to the shed. Um, yeah, I'm a bit knackered, but I'll show you quickly. Uh, what's in the tank at the moment there's like sludge and stuff I'll we'll have a look <laughs> it smells a bit um, transferring the uh, digestate from the tank that's in the greenhouse we're going to we're emptying it we're going to take it down to the shed but first I've got to get all the crap out of it when I say crap I mean crap um, and there's no easy way to to empty it this is probably what they don't show you in the <laughs> other, other um, videos is uh, to try and get out of it because it started with the cow shit I've got to dig it out and there's no real easy way to do it. It's too solid, it won't come out the, um, the drain pipe. So I just tipped it up and dug it out. But the good news is that I can use this. It, um, I can either reuse it to, uh, to start this digester again, or I can just put on the compost. And I'm considering there's like a 200 kilos of cow crap in this. I think I'll just chuck on the compost. I've got a uh, sludge store here to restart it. Uh, the one down the in the shed has already started bubbling away uh, very slow, but I'm trying to get it up to temperature and then I'll be able to feed it again. But, uh, yeah, it's, uh, <laughs> it's not very nice, is it, sweetheart? No. Um, yeah, this is probably what they don't show you in other videos of biodigesters and I'm quite keen to show you I'm covered in crap and it smells. Alright. <laughs> 